I want to talk to you more about the impact of media on us as young Asian men, um, the lack thereof maybe even, but media in general. So talking to some other guests, um, when I went through school, liking things like Dragon Ball Z or anime or games, games, games was probably the biggest one. Mm. It wasn't considered something that was cool. So uh, myself, we played a lot of sport. I would kind of keep it on the down low that I like these sort of things. Whereas now talking to some of the younger guests in the low, early twenties, it's fine. Like it's totally acceptable to be really into gaming and, and anime and things like that. When do you guys think that kind of shifted? Hmm. Um, probably in the last, um, 10, 12 years. I think when, when Marvel started becoming popular, I think that's when it started to shift maybe the late two thousands. Um, yeah. And also the late two thousands, early 2010s, when the new, the new K-pop wave was becoming really popular, um, I really noticed it then. Yeah, that's when we started going to net cafes and stuff. Then and we were playing Counter Strike, because um, you're absolutely right, Ethan. Like, if you like, I know kids who are beaten up in my high school if you were like to anime or games. But then I think late, yeah, late twenty, late two thousands, early twenty tens was when there was like a big land movement, and then you know people were playing CS, and then you go mingle with the Chinese players who are just swearing in Chinese. And getting really angry at Dota. So, and then I think you just, there's this kind of community that kind of liked that stuff. And I think we might have touched on like sharing anime DVDs as well, Dan. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it was the mid, because it was quite underground. Yeah, you're sharing like Full Metal Alchemist and stuff. And like, you you got your trench coat to like not show the authorities. This is is before Crunchyroll. (laughs) Yeah, before before streaming services. So it was like a a matter of, uh downloading um episodes of anime and just burning them onto a dvd disc to share um and yeah it, like there's some good memories like i remember just um getting like four discs of naruto episodes 25 episodes each disc just spamming like the first 100 episodes of naruto um yeah i think i don't know even then though if, if it was something that i really talked about that much with like my high school friends uh, I know, like, we shared anime, um, but uh, I don't... Like, LAN and gaming, I probably talked about a bit more than anime, maybe? Because Dan and I went to pretty different high schools. Because Dan went to a predominantly Asian high school. So a lot of Asians at um, Dan's high school. So I thought that stuff was more widely accepted than my school which was, yeah, like 98% white. So I was like, uh, that's why I wanted to hang out with you guys more because I can talk about like games and anime. Um, yeah. But like, when do you think the, the shift was, Ethan? Like, when did you notice this? Well, I'm just thinking about it now. It's probably one, obviously, the rise of the internet. So things are more readily available. People started making money, streaming, things like that. Um, obviously, the aesthetic is way more um popular just in 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 things and obviously social media as well is probably another one um again because yeah people are seeing that oh these gamers are making money um people are streaming making money suddenly it's like well they're actually useful rather than the old sort of stereotype was it was just some guy just masturbating in his bed <laughs> room you know that was like the person who watched these sort of shows and things like that. That or school shooter. Yeah. That was like the way media portrayed us back then. Just like, yeah. 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 Even with the, like, like K-pop, um, Tavi and I went to a twice concert yesterday and. Which is totally not the reason I came to Sydney. (laughs) (laughs) And we, we really noticed the difference in the crowd that was there last night compared to the crowd that attended the K-pop concert when was that 2011 yeah, i went to a k-pop concert in 2011 and there's yeah there's definitely a shift um we uh we were talking about it earlier where like this generation uh in the best way i would say like a bit more like kind of like geeky or nerdy because that culture is a bit more acceptable whereas like back in 2011 it was kind of like 
cultists or meatheads, maybe like really kind of strange people. Um, so it's, I don't know, like people who kind of like want, they kind of were happy to express themselves or really wanted to express themselves a lot more because of how, I guess, underground K-pop was back then. Um, whereas it's now it's, it's, it's really normal to just like K-pop, um, as like uh as like some of your younger guests might have said it's like yeah you know k-pop and games and anime it's just like it's you don't think twice about that kind of thing it's just it's just part of the zeitgeist now and i think that's cool so it's good yeah